Amazing job, guys. Thank really you very good. Much. Really good. Uh, introduce uh, introduce the other guys here. Who's the, the bass player and the drummer? Well, on bass from uh, Detroit, we have Mr. Joe Veloz. Great job, man. Great job. And uh, on drums from Nashville, Tennessee, we got Mr. Bruce Guthrie. Awesome, guys. Great job. Really, really, really good stuff. So, uh, how long have you three you three traveled together? Is that your basic uh, band? Yeah. Or? Yeah. Um, we've been me and Joe have been playing together for about two years now, three years. And Bruce is brand new. This is uh, Bruce's first oh, week cool. on the job. Wow, well, great job, guys. Uh, much props. I, I, I have to get <coughs> right to this. I mean, <laughs> uh, to address the 300-pound gorilla in the room, which a lot of people think is me, but no. Uh, <laughs> you, you're, you're a young, cute, blonde girl, Thank you and much. you sound and play like Johnny Lee Hooker. <laughs> <laughs> Where does this come from? Like, when, when did you discover this voice and this, these chops on the guitar? Like, um, firstly, thank you. Um, yeah. <laughs> I started playing when I was about 13. Wow. And uh, singing shortly afterwards, which was kind of a happy mistake. But uh, I was yeah, gonna say, you your didn't voice. even want to be a, yeah, yeah. a vocalist, right? No, no, I wanted to. Um, no, I just wanted to play guitar, but obviously, uh, like a lot of my heroes, you know, I know I'd have to sing to be able to front the band, and I kind of didn't want to have to put up with another lead singer telling me what to do. So. Who are your heroes? Um, a lot of the blues guys, Steve Ray Vaughan, Buddy Guy, B.B. King, a lot of classic rock stuff. Jimmy yeah. Page. Going Jimmy there. Page and all that stuff, yeah. yeah. On uh, vocal-wise, who do you think you're, you're, you know, most uh, identify with, you think? I don't know. Um, that's a tough one, you know. Um, I mean, I grew up listening to a lot of kind of like, um, I mean, I love that kind of like Shaka Khan kind of stuff and Rosie Gaines. And right. That. But I don't really have that big black kind of wild, but I don't have it. But. it you know, it, you don't sound exactly like like this person, but it, it reminds me of him because he's the kind of guy like like you. It just jumps out at he's you. Same dude, so that's good. Well, buddy guy is a oh, guy yeah? I think. Oh, well, no. just because like when when he starts to sing, it just like jumps out at you, yeah. and that's what happens with you. I mean, it oh, really, you it just much. grabs hold of you. You know, how long you been uh, how long you been on the road for? Um, I started touring professionally when I was 16, so 12 years. I oh, started wow. a couple of years before that. I kind of wasn't paying too much attention in school. And <laughs> yeah, kind of yeah you left school it. at 16 and yeah. just went right to the road. And Dave Stewart mm -hmm. was instrumental in that process, right? He from was, the yeah. From the original, yeah. Yeah, I got, um, uh, I did a charity concert in Birmingham, my hometown, for UB40. Uh, they were trying to raise some money for breast cancer, and a friend of Dave's was there, and he... he Got a hold of a demo CD, and the next thing I know, I was moving to London and not right. looking back, kind of thing. So, did you do <laughs> other you. music before 13? Or yeah, because I played, obviously um, you've got some serious gifts. Oh, thank you very much. I played classical guitar, which uh, uh, that I mean, helps, I guess, on all levels, right? I mean, yeah, you know how I mean, to do that. it kind of. I knew I wanted to play guitar, and it kind of gave me the confidence to do it. But you know, and then I kind of leapt you over. You picked to up the, the electric side. when you were 13. Yeah, which yeah. Is kind of how I count it. So, I mean, you're so good that you're doing things. You. you know, it sounds unique in that you're squeezing stuff in there that <laughs> people can't normally do. You know, like that it's it uh, unique, like phrasing and unique just runs that just it's amazing but yeah, he, plays, he plays guitar, guitar player? well yeah he plays guitar oh, okay. i don't know what the hell he's talking about no but i, I it but just I, sounds good to me <laughs> i'm wondering uh, why why is it that there aren't more women who just shred like you do i don't know i mean well, someone's got a vacuum <laughs> yeah right <laughs> moving on no but don't you think don't you think that i mean you're so talented you're so oh, gifted i mean you just uh but I don't see other women out there doing this. Yeah, I mean, there's more. I mean, when I started when I was 15, 16, I mean, literally, I didn't know of anyone else doing it in the UK. Right. Whether I just wasn't getting like, out enough. Who do you look or... to as a yeah, as someone? That... You know, I mean, they're out there. There's certainly more in the past, you know, 10, 12 years I've been doing this. They're starting to come out. And same can be said for female drummers, too, which is kind right. of a male-dominated thing. But you know, that's true, too. Is that starting to happen, too, a lot of female yeah, drummers? Yeah, uh, my previous drummer was, was female. Yeah, they're starting to come out more. I don't know. Um... I don't know if it's just exposure. You know, they're getting more exposed to it nowadays. Or if I think guitar in general is taking off more than it yeah. know, has done in previous generations. And you know? I think everything's becoming more universal. You know, it's a mm. different time. And you're right, stuff that certain, you know, uh, people didn't try are trying, yeah. now, which is great, you yeah. know. Well, I mean, even 10 years ago when I was, was doing it, I mean, I, I didn't have the internet, so I couldn't access YouTube and see Steve Ray Vaughan or, you know, and these kids have got... Kids have got John Mayer, you know, and yeah. right. that kind of new wave. So. Forget about Stevie Ray Vaughan, man, how amazing he was. That, 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 that sucked, uh, losing him. Uh, so what? Uh, what's next? What are you doing now? Um, we're doing a two-week tour of the States. We got left. Uh, we're in New York on Saturday night, Iridium. 
We finish ah, up. That's a great, uh, great gig. Yeah, legendary yeah, place. Yeah, yeah that's mm -hmm. cool and everything. Um, and then uh, yeah, we finish in Fort Wayne, Indiana, on the seventeenth, and then on the sixteenth. Sorry, then I go to the UK for shows. And uh, yeah. so this is it. So I go, here we go again. Songs from the road. Joanne uh, Shaw Taylor. And why'd you do a live record? Just more fitting to what you do, right? I yeah. Mean, well, we did. We've done three studio albums prior to that, and it was kind of the right time. I like live records, and they particularly work well for this. Club. Yeah. I well, this was yeah. like a one shot take, right? Yeah. So we knew... didn't have it much time, so we kind of all flew into London, did it one night, and it could have been a humongous disaster. But, <laughs> yeah. You know, to say the least, but we. Managed to pull it out the back. So stage. you're happy with how it turned yes, out? Yes, it could have gone very well. And how, <laughs> how do we find you guys on social media? You do all that stuff? You yeah, JoanneShawTaylor.com, Facebook slash JoanneShawTaylor, Twitter slash JoanneShawTaylor. All, <laughs> all that stuff. You get the Well, gist. anyway, you guys are great. Really, all, all is uh, oh, very you unique, much. and um, I wish you nothing but the best. All thank right? you very much. Come back and join us anytime. It'd be great to have you back. Thank Joanne you. Joanne Shaw Taylor again at Songs from the Road. The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on Audience. Only on DirecTV.